Welcome to our deep dive into one of the most ambitious scientific endeavors of our time, the quest to explore Proxima Centauri. Today, we embark on a journey that challenges our technological ingenuity, stimulates scientific debate, and holds the potential to transform our understanding of space and our place within it. Join us as we dissect the scientific challenges of interstellar travel, focusing on revolutionary approaches, such as antimatter drives, solar sails, and cryogenic preservation techniques. Interstellar travel has long been a dream of visionary scientists and space enthusiasts alike. While our achievements within the solar system continue to outpace our ambitions to travel to other stars, Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star located just a little over four light years away, offers the first potential destination for humanity's quest beyond our solar neighborhood. But what does it really mean to traverse such cosmic distances? And what scientific hurdles stand in our way? In our exploration today, we follow a problem-solution format where each significant obstacle is met with a promising technological advance. Our focus will be threefold. Antimatter drives, solar sail propulsion, and cryogenic preservation. Each of these methods carries its own set of scientific challenges and potential benefits, and together they paint a critical picture of humanity's chances to journey among the stars. Antimatter isn't science fiction. It's the mirror image of the matter we touch every day. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other, releasing enormous amounts of energy in the process. This phenomenon is not only fascinating on a theoretical level, but it also promises a method of propulsion that might reach speeds suitable for interstellar travel. The challenge with antimatter lies in its production, storage, and control. Producing tiny amounts in high-energy physics labs is possible, but scaling up this production to the levels required for a space drive demands breakthroughs in both engineering and physics. For example, consider that in a well-known particle accelerator, scientists create fleeting particles that exist for just fractions of a second. Now imagine trying to harness that energy reliably to accelerate a spacecraft. But the potential benefits could be revolutionary. Antimatter drives promise incredible energy density, meaning that a small amount of antimatter could produce energy comparable to millions of pounds of conventional fuel. This efficiency translates into faster travel times across the vast cosmos, reducing journey durations drastically. To better understand this, Think about how a high-efficiency battery can power our smartphones all day on a compact form factor. Antimatter, in essence, could be the super battery for our interstellar aspirations. Current research is exploring ways to trap and store antimatter safely. Magnetic traps, for instance, allow scientists to confine antimatter particles in a vacuum preventing them from coming into contact with matter. Though it's an immense technical challenge, even incremental advancements in antimatter production may eventually enable us to design propulsion systems that can leverage this almost inconceivably potent energy source. In stark contrast to the explosive promise of antimatter, solar sails represent a fundamentally different approach harnessing the gentle, persistent pressure of light. Solar sail technology uses large reflective surfaces to capture photons from the sun, converting their momentum into a continuous thrust. Imagine a sailboat gliding across the ocean, but with the wind replaced by streams of sunlight. Solar sails do not need to carry massive amounts of fuel. Instead, they rely on a renewable source of propulsion provided by our star. The principle is straightforward. When light strikes the reflective surface of a sail, it imparts momentum, gradually accelerating the spacecraft 
over vast dista. However, the simplicity of this concept belies the scientific and engineering challenges involved. For instance, the pressure exerted by sunlight is minuscule, about 9 micronewtons per square meter. Therefore, to be effective, solar sails must be incredibly large and lightweight. Engineers compare it to trying to build a sail for a boat that must be airborne, catching a breeze that's nearly imperceptible. Despite these challenges, practical examples are emerging from current space research. The Japanese Icaros mission, for instance, tested a solar sail in interplanetary space. Its success demonstrates that even with modest initial thrust, Continuous acceleration over long durations in the frictionless environment of space could allow a spacecraft to eventually approach a significant fraction of light speed when aided by other potential enhancements. Critically, while solar sails may not achieve the dramatic speed up of antimatter propulsion, they offer the advantage of simplicity and safety. Their reliance on natural inexhaustible energy, minimizes onboard fuel hazards, and lends the technology a reliability that could support long-duration missions to Proxima Centauri. The prospect of human interstellar travel inevitably leads us to consider what happens to the travelers on these epic journeys. With current propulsion technologies, a mission to Proxima Centauri could span decades, if not centuries. This temporal challenge has spurred the exploration of cryogenic preservation methods. Cryogenic preservation involves mailing living tissue, potentially even entire humans, into a state of deep sleep, effectively pausing biological functions until conditions are safe or until the journey comes to a meaningful end. Although the notion may evoke images of science fiction's frozen sleep, the principles are grounded in genuine medical and biological research. The science behind cryogenic preservation is based on reducing the temperature of cells to levels where biochemical reactions cease. In practical terms, think of it as pressing the pause button on the aging process. This concept is already used in small-scale applications such as organ preservation for transplants, where cooling can extend the viability of donated tissues. A major challenge here is ensuring that the process is reversible. Safely thawing preserved cells without damaging them, often referred to as avoiding ice crystal formation in the delicate cellular structures, is no trivial matter. Researchers are exploring antifreeze proteins and other cryoprotectin agents that help mitigate these risks. While a full-scale human application remains a distant goal, incremental advances in cryobiology continue to provide valuable insights. The critical analysis of this technology brings forth ethical and practical questions. Can we preserve and revive human consciousness after decades in stasis? What biological systems are at risk of irreversible damage? These fundamental questions drive ongoing research into not only the techniques of preservation, but also our understanding of human biology under extreme conditions. Beyond the immediate goal of reaching Proxima Centauri, the scientific efforts engaged in interstellar travel research have significant real-world applications. Technologies developed in the quest for longer, faster space travel can be adapted for use in earthbound industries. For instance, the efficient energy conversion methods seen in antimatter research could someday revolutionize power generation. The lightweight, durable materials needed for solar sails are already finding applications in advanced aerospace designs and even renewable energy structures. Moreover, Methods and protocols developed in cryogenic preservation may have profound implications for medicine, where long-term storage of biological materials 
is critical. The intersection of these interstellar travel technologies with everyday technology reinforces the fact that space research is not an isolated scientific endeavor, but a driver of innovation that ripples through our society. It is essential, however, to maintain a balanced, critical perspective. While each technology holds promise, none is yet mature enough to guarantee a practical method for interstellar travel in the near future. The rigorous scrutiny of assumptions, repeated testing, and gradual progression through incremental advancements remain the cornerstones of scientific progress. For our general audience, the technical specifications of these interstellar travel methods might seem overwhelming. Let's break them down using familiar analogies. Picture antimatter as an incredibly potent fuel comparable to a battery that, instead of lasting a few hours, could keep a city running for years in a compact package. Now, consider solar sails as akin to a paper airplane guided by a steady, omnipresent breeze, small forces that add up over time to propel the airplane across vast distances. And finally, imagine cryogenic preservation as the scientific embodiment of a pause button. Just as a paused movie waits to be resumed at a later time, our biological systems may one day be safely suspended and reactivated, ensuring that human life can endure the long wait across cosmic distances, despite the inspirational narrative and the tangible scientific advances. It is imperative to examine the feasibility of interstellar travel with a healthy dose of skepticism. The practical reality of implementing an antimatter drive, for example, is contingent on multiple breakthroughs, energy efficiency, safety protocols, and economic viability. Current research is progressing, but significant theoretical and logistical challenges remain. Solar sails, while elegant in concept, require incredibly precise engineering and sustained conditions that are only possible in the vacuum of space. They are dependent on the consistent radiation pressure from the sun, which diminishes with distance and fluctuations in solar output. In addition, the durability and deployment precision of a large ultralight sail remain subjects of intensive engineering studies. Similarly, cryogenic preservation raises ethical concerns as well as technical ones. In effect, we must overcome nature's own countermeasures to freezing, cellular dehydration, ice crystal formation, and tissue fragility. In synthesis, our current research represents a blend of bold optimism tempered by rigorous scientific inquiry. Promise and potential thrive on one side while on the other, a detailed understanding of the challenges pushes the boundaries of innovation. As we cast our eyes toward advancing interstellar travel technology, several promising research directions emerge. In the realm of antimatter propulsion, international collaborations are working to design next generation particle traps and storage mechanisms that could feasibly scale up production. Groundbreaking proposals include improving magnetic confinement systems and integrating superconducting materials that might one day allow us to safely store minute quantities of antimatter for longer durations. Solar sail technology is not standing still either. Following the successes of missions like Icaros, researchers are envisioning new materials that combine extreme lightness with exceptional tensile strength. Scientists are also studying adaptive sail geometries that can adjust orientation dynamically to maximize the photon pressure from both solar and even directed energy laser beams. Such innovations may drastically improve the thrust profile, making solar sails a more robust component of interstellar travel strategies. Cryogenic preservation is on the cusp of breakthroughs that resonate far beyond space travel. 
cutting-edge research into cryoprotectants continues to resolve the obstacles of ice nucleation and cell damage. With planned experiments on the International Space Station serving as test beds, future missions may refine protocols that hold the promise not just for long journeys in space, but also for critical applications in regenerative medicine. Generative. In addition, multidisciplinary efforts are combining quantum physics, material science, and biomedical engineering to tackle problems that span multiple domains. These efforts aim to not only propel us towards Proxima Centauri, but also to revolutionize various sectors back on Earth. Conclusion Embracing the challenge of the unknown, our journey today through the realms of antimatter drives, solar sails, and cryogenic preservation reveals a future brimming with both challenges and immense possibilities. The vision of traveling to Proxima Centauri is not just an exercise in futuristic thinking. It is a catalyst for innovation that prompts us to reimagine our technology, our scientific paradigms, and above all, our understanding of what is possible. Critically, while the road ahead is paved with obstacles and uncertainties, the ongoing research not only enhances our technological portfolio for space exploration, but also fosters advancements across multiple fields. The spirit of inquiry that drives this quest underscores the very essence of scientific endeavor. To push beyond familiar horizons and to explore the unknown. As scientists, engineers, and dreamers, we must continue to challenge our assumptions, refine our models, and harness the power of collaboration to advance interstellar travel. The research directions outlined here are just the dawn of a new era in space exploration, one that may one day enable humanity to step out into the vast cosmos and behold the light of another star up close. This journey is far from over. In laboratories around the globe and aboard experimental spacecraft, the pursuit of interstellar travel technology advances steadily. With each incremental breakthrough, we move closer to a future where the dream of visiting Proxima Centauri transforms from a distant possibility into an achievable reality. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. Stay with us as we continue to follow these exciting developments, paying close attention to both the scientific promise and the rigorous challenges they present. The cosmos awaits, and so does the next great chapter in human discovery.